Let's see how to edit or update the records inside MySQL database using PHP. This is the script we had previously written. You can get these videos on technotip.com. Here is an input box using which we enter some data to the database. We connect to the database using db.php. If the name there is something present inside name that is if that variable is set we will insert it inside the database after that we will query the database select all the data from the table and list them on the same page let's see it in the database first software is the database name apple is the table name so it has two fields id and name id is primary key therefore it is unique and it's also auto increment field so see the value reflected here google apple microsoft oracle and technotip now let's give a edit option to it you can insert a pencil image here which indicates edit option usually now I'll write edit.php question mark edit is equal to it's a variable pass on the ID because it is a unique key ID I mean it's a primary key so it's unique as well so the edit link here now I have to create edit.php this form field is almost similar in edit so i'll copy the form from index.php to my edit.php file there will be some minor modifications which we shall do later after writing some php scripting now as we would be doing operation on the database we need to include the database that is we need to connect to the database by writing include underscore once file name now look at the number we are passing here the id each one has unique id we are passing it with get method so if dollar underscore get of edit edit is the name we have given there so if this is set that is if there is some value then first we shall copy that value to a variable called id select star from apple apple is the name of the table we can directly write this query inside mysql underscore query standard function of php now fetch the data using mysql underscore fetch underscore array standard function now dollar row of zero will have id information dollar row of one will have company name information now inside value we will simply echo dollar row of one because dollar row of one is one which contains the name of the company let me hide let me get a hidden field wherein we will pass the id information we don't want to show the id to the user because that's of no use he, users know the name of the company and they need not remember the ids so let me make it a hidden field 
oops sorry the name and id are the variables which aren't recognized by the script yet so let me make it zero and one itself this should solve okay so that name let me take out the label and let me make this update not enter to, to make more sense and i'll take off this pr useless pr tag here so let me refresh now this looks better i'll do google usa and when i hit the update button it should get back to this index file and the name of the company must have been updated to google usa so this is important because this is where we do the updation work in reality so check if dollar underscore post of new name because we need to check if new value has been entered if it is set then copy that value to a local variable here i'll call that even new name too remember we have taken another hidden field which passes the id information whose name is id so i'll copy it to another local variable called id now the sql statement to actually update the records so here goes the sql mysql statement that is query update apple is the table name set name we are updating the name here so name is equal to within single quotes the new name where id id is the primary key here which id the the company name of which id we have passed that id information to a hidden variable hidden field so give that now execute the query with mysql underscore query function pass dollar sql which contains our sql query or die if this query doesn't execute for any of the reason like database down or server down or anything it will just uh, stop executing the script and it will tell could not update concatenate with mysql underscore error which is a standard function of php which echoes the actual error now echo this meta information is to redirect it to the index.php if everything goes fine that will be executed and redirected back to index.php let's do it oops it has not updated because we have dot inside action field which indicates index so let's change it to edit.php because this new name and id has to be passed to edit.php and not index now it must work click edit i'll make it google usa update okay it has been updated now i'll do the same with the rest of it okay where i have to mention where which id value which id's name must be edited must be fetched sorry so now it should work 100% apple i'll make apple usa to microsoft usa oracle usa to technotype let me make it india we are based in india so so we can edit as many times as possible using these forms itself we need not make other forms again these are reusable forms let me make it just in update so it works fine thanks for watching please like it on youtube share it on facebook twitter and other social media sites thanks for watching